Hi, this is Andy Price of Easy Data Transform. I'm going to give you a demonstration of how you can easily split a CSV file using Easy Data Transform. So we have a simple CSV file here with a gender column and we want to split the file into two depending on the value in the gender column. So let's just put a filter transform on here and we want to get everyone where gender is M and we want to output that to a file so we'll call that M output and then we want to do another filter and this time we want where the gender is F and we're going to output that to a different file. Okay, and then if we look at the output folder, here we can see the two output files. Okay, and then let's save this file so that we can use it again. Okay, so that's a really simple way to split a file into two. So let's look at a slightly more complex example. We'll get rid of those. And this time we want to split it according to the department. But we don't know in advance how many different departments there are going to be. Uh, there might be hundreds in, in a big file. So what we're going to do is create a new column. And we're going to call it file name. And then we're going to insert the department value here and then we're going to put CSV. So that's going to be the name of the file that each put row is output to. Okay, so if we evaluate that, we'll see we've got this new column here with file name. And then we're going to um, give that a temporary name. We're not worry about that because we're going to change it to multiple files and then we're going to select file name okay and because we've got confirmed files on here it's now going to prompt us before it writes any files so we can see it's going to create three files here engineering marketing and sales based on that column it won't actually output that column because this is a relative path rather than an absolute path it's going to be placing it relative to where we put the dot transform file which we already saved in this example folder if we hadn't have saved it we'd have to save it first okay so here we can see it's created the additional engineering marketing and sales files finally i'm going to show you an example of splitting this 10,000 row csv file into 10 1000 row Excel files. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is add a row number transform and I'm going to increment the row number by one every thousand rows. And then I'm going to substitute and I'm going to use the row number I'm going to call it the files output underscore then I'm going to use the row number and then I'm going to use the Excel file extension. If I evaluate that then you can see uh, the first row is going to be output to output 1 and the last row to output 10. Now we don't need that row number column anymore so let's just get rid of that because we don't want that output. So we'll just get rid of row number. Uh, and this one won't be output because we're going to choose it uh, as the multi-file output column. So let's output it to file. Uh, we'll just overwrite that one because we don't care about this one because we're going to swap it to multi-file. And then we're going to select the file name column. And then we need to save this. Um, so let's call this oops, multi and then tell it to do the output. Okay, so these are the files it's going to produce. 
So let's tell it to go ahead. Okay, and here's all the files you can see have been output. So that's a quick whistle stop tour of using easy data transform to split CSV files. You can download our free trial and try it yourself.